Hey guys, it's me again. You already know what time it is. It's time for my editing pet peeves part two. Since y'all liked the first one so much, here we go. And honestly, I like making these videos too because it really, honestly, it's a good way of getting out your anger towards editing. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. Um, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so this is a huge pet peeve that I have. Like, this is probably one of the biggest if not, this is probably my biggest pet peeve ever. Don't know why I didn't put this in part one, but I'm putting it in now. Literally. Okay. One of my biggest editing pet peeves is whenever you, like, when, like one of your mutuals or whatever, you hype their edit up. You like it, you save it, you share it, you comment, like, 30 times. And whenever you post, they, they just like it and, like, they don't interact with it. They don't share it, they don't comment. That literally angers me so much to the point where I just want to, like, punch them in the face. Does that make any sense? And this isn't just on, like, one edit. It's, like, every single edit. Bro, this happens to me every time. Like, some of my, like, this happened, this hap doesn't happen to me as much anymore. But, like, back in, like, 2019, 2018 it did, like, my mutuals would po- There is a big mosquito on my window. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyways, besides that, this doesn't really happen to me as much anymore. It still happens, just not as much. Like, I, like, my mutuals will post, and, like, I'll be so interactive with their edits. I'll like them, I'll save them, I'll share them, I'll comment. I'll literally comment more than 20 times. Because I'm just that kind of person, I like hyping editors up. Like, I mean, ever obviously, like, every editor isn't like that, but I just like doing that. And then whenever I come, whoa, I just took, like, the biggest breath. Did y'all hear that? I went, <gasps> I don't know where that came from. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked today. Anyway, uh, and then whenever, like, I post, they don't interact with it. And it's just kind of, like, it's kind of annoying because it's, like, I hyped your edit up. I made sure that you got all those comments. I shared your edit. I literally tagged the person that you edited so they could see it, maybe. And, like, when I post, you don't even, like, comment. I don't know if that sounds petty. I'm sorry if that sounds petty. It wasn't supposed to. This video isn't supposed to be hateful. But, like, I just I just can't stand. That is probably my biggest editing pet peeve at the moment. It's just, bro. Oh my gosh, it's literally so annoying. Like, I don't get why editors do that. Like, it doesn't, it literally takes, like, no. Because it takes, like, five seconds to comment something. Even if it's one comment, two comments, even if you, like, save it and share it. Because, like, on Instagram, I don't know how it works on, like, YouTube, really. But on Instagram, when you save someone's, um, post, that's, like, that's, like, that's, like, a double like. I don't know if you've heard that term. It's, like, a double like. It's, like saving is like the best way to engage and then sharing and then commenting and then liking so for anyone out there who wants their edits to do better i i okay i'm about to spill some tea i i save my i save my own edits i don't know if that's embarrassing or not it, it kind of is but i mean <laughs> i mean i don't know i don't know plus the save button looks really nice to press on so okay anyway that's not the point okay my second pet peeve with editing. This is another really big one that I have. Don't know why I didn't put it in part one, but that's why we have part two. Um, this is a really, this actually happens to me a lot and it's really annoying. But my second pet peeve that I have for you today is whenever editors gatekeep stuff. Like they don't tell you where they got their overlays from. They don't tell you where they got the audio from. They don't, they, you know, they just gatekeep everything. They gatekeep the person they edited. They gatekeep the effect. That is the biggest one, the effects. They don't like it. Like I said, there's a difference. I said this in my, um, my first video. If you haven't seen that, if you want to watch it, you can. But like I said in the first one, there is a difference of making your own effect and spending a lot of time on it and like, you know, like keeping it a secret because you know you worked hard on it and then there's a there's also a difference of finding an underrated effect that's already on your program and like claiming it as yours even though you didn't make it you just found it because it's underrated like that's not no if someone asks you what effect you use and if you didn't like personally make it 
I think you should just be nice and, like, tell them back. Once again, no shade or anything, but I just can't stand when editors gatekeep effects and stuff. Like, I just can't. Like, I don't know about y'all, but, like, I don't gatekeep stuff. If you guys, okay, if you guys ever want to know, like, where I got an overlay from or, like, the person I'm editing, literally comment and I'll reply to you. I am not one of those, I don't gatekeep stuff. I'm open with editing. I don't care what you ask me. Um, as long as you don't ask if you can throw my computer off a cliff. I don't know where I got that from. I don't know what that- okay, whatever. I am very energetic right now. I don't know why. Okay, back to the video. I'm getting very sidetracked today, but honestly, y'all are my besties, so I don't really care. <laughs> so, yeah, like, if y'all ever wonder what effect I used in my edits or what person I edited, where I got my overlays from, like, anything you can literally comment and i'll tell you like i'm not i don't gatekeep stuff i don't gatekeep i'm not we don't gatekeep here at pomegranate editing we don't gatekeep we we are friendly and nice and we, we here we don't gatekeep here we don't oh my gosh i just it is really thundering outside i just saw a flash of lightning okay anyways so that is a really big pet peeve that i have with editing it just it it really stresses me out too because like for example, if I see an overlay that I really like and I'm like, hey, this actually happened recently. It was on this like bigger editor's uh, account and they had this really, really cute like flower overlay and it was adorable and I really wanted it. And I commented and I said, oh my gosh, I love the overlay. Where did you get it from? Or like, where did you buy it from? And they liked my comment and they never responded. It's even worse when they, like, like your comment because it's, like, they acknowledge you, but they decided, perp like, willfully, they decided to not answer your question. Like, how are you going to post an edit knowing that people might comment asking where you got your, like, resources from and you don't say anything? Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense. And I don't even, I'm not trying to be petty. Um, if I'm coming off as petty, I'm really sorry. I promise you that's not the motive. I'm just genuinely, bro, this is, editing as beautiful as it is, it's just, it really gets on your nerves sometimes. Okay, the next pet peeve I want to talk about, drum roll please, graphs! You heard that right. Okay, I don't know why I screamed into the camera, but yes, graphs because the thing is graph okay if you don't make your no graphs are amazing if you if you get the if you do it right and if you spend time on your graph it looks beautiful but for the most part graphs can get really tricky especially on video start graphs can get really hard especially if you're a 3d editor like me and you have to make all of those like complex like 3d graphs and stuff that gets really tricky even on after effects um i don't know how many of y'all use after effects i use both after effects and video start if you're a new subscriber and you didn't know that after effects graphs are really easy but they look really rough sometimes like the thing with video star is i feel like video star graphs are harder to make but, like, I just, I feel like no matter, like, I don't know. I feel like they're easier to plot, but, like, harder to make. That didn't make any sense. Just, I don't know. I don't know if y'all are even, like, understanding what I'm saying. But with bit, uh, I can't speak. With After Effects, I feel like um, the graph is easier to make. But if you don't have your keyframes in the right position, the whole, like, the whole clip gets ruined that probably made zero sense i hope some of you know what i'm talking about i don't know like the thing okay also i just i don't know why i'm breathing heavily i think it's because i drank too much snapple and my stomach got really full um if anyone wants a good snapple flavor i really recommend strawberry pineapple it actually tastes really good okay i swear i'm getting sidetracked so much i'm so sorry if this okay like i'm um, okay I'm mad, like you me you, la, 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 i can't speak english okay Ima okay imagine like this is the first video that like a new subscriber sees from me they're gonna be like what is she talking about but like me and y'all we're besties at this point y'all probably don't care but like imagine this is the first thing a new subscriber sees they're gonna be like concerned okay anyways that's besides the point graphs just are really annoying because if you don't have them i feel like graphs are really like 
picky with their placement. If you don't have them in the correct order, they just mess themselves up. That brings me to my last pet peeve. And that would be, drum roll again, please, Benanette 3D. Okay, this is, like, really controversial. And I am not talking about 3D as a whole. I am talking about the effort you put, you have to put in to achieve 3D. Because I'm a 3D, I've been, um... If you guys, like, have been watching me for a while, you know that I've been, I am a 3D editor. I started 3D back in 2019, like, the middle of the year, and I was really bad at it, and I feel like I'm actually pretty good at it now, but let me tell you, 3D style is so freaking hard, and it's, okay, whenever I say hard, I don't mean it's hard as in, like, this is so hard, I can't do anything, it's hard because... 3D is such a complicated style because you have to get the 3D shapes and then on top of that you have to get overlays and then on top of that you have to like decorate the backgrounds of your clips. There's just so much to it and like that's what pisses me off about 3D. Not 3D itself, like not 3D as a whole, but like the, so the many aspects that you have to put in to achieve a 3D edit, if that makes any sense. Like to all of my 3D editors out there, you guys are just so amazing because, like, it's hard. You guys deserve recognition. Okay, every editor deserves recognition. Like, every style is amazing, but, like, 3D editors, it's like, y'all are talented. Like, 3D edits are just something else. Like, literally. To all of my 3D editors out there, y'all know that, like, to make one clip, it can take hours. Especially when you're doing, like, the Boca AP remakes. Those take so long. Like, I personally, I've remade a lot of Boca re remakes. I was going to say Boca remakes. I've made a lot of Boca edits, but, like, oh my gosh. Those things take me so long. Like, okay, I remade Cherry a few times, and, like, just the intro itself, that took me, like, two hours. No, not even kidding. That's not even exaggeration. So to all of my 3D people out there, you guys are extremely talented. Like, y'all are just amazing. Like, I actually had to take a break from editing for a while because 3D literally stressed me out. It literally, and actually, if, you, if you're if you a 3D editor, you literally can't edit for more than, like, a certain amount of time because it physically wears you down. Like, I think all of my editors, like, no matter what style you can do, editing is hard. Like, we we are just, we're iconic. Editors are just iconic. You can't, you can't. You can't argue with me on that. We're just so iconic, bro. And that that is the last pet peeve that I have for this part. I'm going to make more parts to the series because y'all really like them. I really like making these. They're really fun. Like, honestly, they're really fun. I like talking my talk on editing and my stance on it, blah, blah, blah. But that brings me to the end of this video. All I have to say is stay inspired, stay motivated, all of my friends. You guys are amazing. And I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Also, I want to apologize for how, like, up and down this video was. Like, one second, I'd be talking about editing. And the next second, I'd be talking about the lightning in the sky. So, okay. I'm gonna leave now. I love y'all. Peace. <laughs>